reality TV star Christine Quinn is spilling on what viewers miss when they press play on their screens. Quinn, 33, who noted to Fox News Digital that she is fully aware she's portrayed as the villain on Netflix's Selling Sunset, shared that fans aren't privy to what's on the editing floor. That's the stuff where I am a human being, and I am vulnerable, and I am three-dimensional, and I am funny, Quinn, who has found herself at odds with many of her former co-stars, explained. Producers need a narrative, I have many, many funny elements to me. I have many heartwarming moments. But you know, I understand when we're doing the show, the producers need a narrative, and they have to follow along with that narrative for a storyline, she added. And I totally get that. Quinn also emphasized that there's more dimension to the women of Selling Sunset than viewers get to see on TV. That's why I love people to get to know me outside of the show because the show you're seeing is an edited, sometimes manipulated version of what really happens in real life, she explained. I think it's important to get to know characters outside of the show, whether that's through my book, whether that's through social media. Quinn who is set to release her upcoming book, How to Be a Boss B asterisk TCH, detailed. Reality TV is, an illusion, there's so much more dimension to us as women and all the women on the show. I see it with other characters. It's not just me. So, I just encourage everyone to get to know us outside the show because reality is really just an illusion, she shared. Quinn is no longer a part of the Selling Sunset tribe following the filming of the fifth season. Jason Oppenheim, owner of the Oppenheim Group, claimed during the Selling Sunset reunion that Quinn has not reached out about allegedly bribing a client to stop working with one of her co-workers. Right now, there's not a place for her at the Oppenheim Group, he told the reunion host Tan France. Quinn was accused of paying a client of the Oppenheim Group $5,000 to stop working with agent Emma Ernan during season 5 of the reality TV show. Quinn has denied the bribery accusation and claimed that it was her decision to leave the Oppenheim Group in a comment posted on a TikTok clip of the reunion. Of course there's no place for me, she wrote. I terminated my contract weeks ago prior to filming. I have my own company now lol. A representative for Quinn did not respond to Fox News Digital's immediate request for comment regarding the alleged bribe. Ernan Isnt the only co-star Quinn hasn't gotten along with. Her and former roommate Mary Fitzgerald's relationship has also fallen apart. Fitzgerald's relationship with newcomer Chriselle Staus caused tension between her and Quinn, which eventually led to a fallout. Friendship fallout I was able to assess the situation and realize the people that I do want in my life, the people that I do want to surround me, Quinn told Fox News Digital. So I made a conscious choice to, you know, only roll with people that were, ride, or die. And that's really what it came down to. Quinn hopes the two can become friends again one day in the future. I wish one day we can become friends, Quinn said. I really, really, really do. That is my hope. That is my goal. But at the end of the day I think us, as women, need to stop apologizing for the way that we feel. And if it hurts other people's feelings in the process, let them process it. You both process it, but really realize that your feelings are valid and it's okay if it hurts people in the process, if it's really how you feel. And that is how you become the truest, most authentic, most confident version of yourself. Fitzgerald hasn't spoken out about the friendship rift too much in the press, obviously telling the Daily Star, Christine and I are not in a good place. Things have happened that mean we aren't on good terms. Despite the drama in Quinn's life, she recently became a mother for the first time. She welcomed her baby boy, Christian George Dumontet, in May 2021 with husband Christian Richard. Quinn married the software engineer in 2019.
Count my blessings each and every day being a first-time mom isnt easy. But Quinn is blessed to be able to work from home and spend as much time with her baby as possible. I am able to spend as much time with my baby as possible, which really makes it great. And that really inspires me and makes me work harder because I know that I am providing for him, Quinn told Fox News Digital. I count my blessings each and every day because I did have to. I did use to go to the office every day. I am in a good position now to where I can work from home. Quinn does have plans to expand her family with Richard. I just I love being a mom and everything that comes with it, she said. It's just the most wonderful, joyous thing to watch him grow up and have your mannerisms and, you know, teach this little human everything that you want to teach him.